Hello, welcome to the Forstronics blog and YouTube channel. And in this tutorial, we'll be covering uh, getting started with the HC06 Bluetooth module. So the HC06 is a low cost Bluetooth module that is easy to connect to wirelessly and it acts like a serial connection. So here's what we're gonna cover in this tutorial. Changing settings on the HC06 using AT commands. I'll show two different methods for doing that. And then we'll set up a quick demo to show how we can communicate wirelessly with an Arduino Uno using the HC06. Method one for changing the settings on the HC06. Here in this method, we'll show how to do it using an Arduino sketch. So we'll write an Arduino sketch. The Arduino will communicate with HC06 through serial and change some of the settings, such as its Bluetooth name, and then also change the baud rate. In the diagram, you can see how we're going to connect the Arduino to the HC06. And it's real simple. We connect the Arduino transmit to the receive on the HC06 and the Arduino serial receive to the transmit on the HC06. Please note that the HC06 works in 3.3 volt logic. The Arduino Uno works in five volt logic. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use a simple voltage divider, those two resistors at the bottom, to divide the five volts down to 3.3333 volts. Uh, and that way we won't damage the HC06. Now we got 3.3 volts going back to the Arduino, which is fine because 3.3 volts is enough to trigger a high. At the top here are some of the commands you use to communicate with HC06 and actually change some of its settings. It's important to note you can use the HC06 right out of the box. It'll work as a wireless serial termination right out of the box but often you want to change its name uh, so it doesn't say HC06, you'd rather give it a custom name, and you also might want to set its baud rate um, and stuff like that. So to do that, you use uh, some real basic AT commands, and AT commands are commands used in, in the embedded world, but the HC06 has some of its own. Uh, you can see some of them, for instance, to change its name, it's AT plus name, and then you tack the name on. So in the example on the slide, I have AT plus name, and the name is MyBT. So if I send that command, the Bluetooth or the HC06 will now be called MyBT when I look for it on uh, Bluetooth Wireless. Important to note that with the HC06, you put no end line characters after sending the AT command. On the HC05, which is a little more sophisticated, but not much, you actually do add endline character. So, so make sure you're aware of which one you're using. And I have some example commands here. You can get a full list or, go, or from my blog using the link below. Here is a simple sketch to do the, uh, to change the name of the HC06 and to change the baud rate. So I set up a serial connection. 9600 is the default baud rate for the HC06. I first send my command uh, AT name and, I, I, and I'm changing the name to force T. Then I delay a little bit and then I read the response and I store it in an array. And then I send another command for AT plus baud eight. And this is to change the baud rate to 115,200. And then I do the same thing. I, I, I delay and then I loop and read the response. And then this is this all this code is in the setup too. This is we're not in the loop. And I then just print the responses back to make sure everything worked because the HC06 will respond to let you know that a command worked. And then I don't do anything in the loop. This code will be posted on my blog if you want to copy it. Now from that sketch, I'm changing the name and the baud rates. You can see these are the commands that I sent out, AT name, force T, and then no space, AT plus bot 8. And then, of course, I read the response from the HC06. It responds, okay, you know, the name was set, okay, uh, the new bot rate is set. So now I have, I just changed the settings using AT commands from an Arduino sketch. Here's the second method, and this is just using a serial terminal. So I'm going to use a serial terminal on my Mac called CoolTerm, which is free to download. Now my setup looks almost identical, but in this situation, I'm just using the Arduino board as a uh, basically as a serial connector. So I connect the reset of the Arduino to ground. So the Arduino microcontroller is doing nothing. 
I'm also going to then connect transmit to transmit and receive to receive. So that's a little different. So once since I'm talking through the Arduino, I don't want to do transmit to receive and receive to transmit. I want to do transmit to transmit and receive to receive. So here we are at the cool term serial terminal and I'm just doing the settings. I'm connecting to the USB modem 411 because that is the Arduino. I'm changing my baud rate to 15200. I'm doing a local echo, pressing OK. Remember, the baud rate has to change because we, we set a new baud rate on. Uh, we're basically starting where we left off from method one, and we set a new baud rate. So that's why I'm using 151500. And here I'm just sending the name AT plus name Force Tronics instead of Force T. It responds, OK, set name. I'm then going to the Bluetooth on my Mac, turning it on, and we can see Forstronics is there, so the new name was, was taken. And the reason it failed to pair is I, I have to type in the code. So that's one thing to note is that the default code, um, the security code to access the Bluetooth module is 1234. So I just tried to pair. We can see the new name is Forstronics, but it didn't let me pair because I didn't have the code typed in. The code is something else you can change from an AT command as well. Now that we got our new baud rate and our new name, let's go ahead and actually use the HC06 to communicate wirelessly with an Arduino. So if you look, our setup is the same as the setup in method one. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you a sketch that I, that I made that is going to be used to communicate with the Arduino wirelessly through the HC06 and I'll do that from my serial terminal on my Mac cool term like like we did before to change the settings but this time I'll, I'll use it as a wireless serial line. So here's the sketch for this example it's pretty simple once again I'll post this on my blog if you want to copy it uh, I do the serial to begin I go into the loop I then listen for information on the serial line or for information I should say to be available on the serial line and once it's available, I read it into a string, and then I check to see what it says. And if it says, hi, Uno, I'm going to reply, or the, I should say the Uno is going to reply. And then if it asks for the meaning of life, the Uno is going to reply with that. And then if it, any other entry will return a syntax error. Okay, let's uh, see this in action. Now we're back at the serial terminal. I'm going to change the settings. I'm going to Rescan my serial ports. I'm going to look for the Bluetooth signal. There it is, Forthtronics. I don't know where the dev B comes from, but the name of the wireless signal is Forthtronics. So I set that. I set my new baud rate. I then set some of the settings on the serial terminal. I want a local echo. OK. I'm going to connect. Then I'm going to say, Hi, Uno. It's going to reply with, Hello, Neil. And then I'm going to ask it the meaning of life. And of course, the meaning of life is money, guns, hose and Arduino. Okay, that's it for this tutorial getting started with the HC06. We covered two methods for changing the settings on the HC06 using AT commands. We also showed an example of how you can um, use it as a wireless serial connection with a, an Arduino Uno. For the code we saw, for the tutorial schematics, and also for the AT commands, you can go to my blog. Also, please subscribe to my Forstronics YouTube channel if you found this interesting. If you have any questions, you can email me at forstronics at gmail.com. Thanks.